We are back with another makeover. It has been a hot minute since we've done one and I've kind of been putting this off, but this is something we've wanted to do for like six months now and we're finally getting to it today. Okay, so as you walk into our bedroom, there to the right past the barn door and before you get into our bathroom, you will see these two closets and one of them is mine and one of them is Thomas's closet. So what I have wanted to do or what I've envisioned here for several months now is to turn one of these closets into an office. And I know that probably sounds really weird, but we have been needing an office for quite some time now just because Thomas works from home and I work from home and it would just be really nice to not have to do everything sitting on our bed. So we thought if we had a little place to put our laptop without having to do it on the dining table or in our bedroom on the bed, then we would just really prefer that. We decided we would turn Thomas's closet into the office just because that's the closet you see as you're walking through our room. You really don't see my closet unless you are standing next to the window and looking from that direction. So we thought it would make the most sense to use his closet as the office and then we were going to turn my closet into both of our closets so that will be a different video where we will make room for both of our clothes and again we will do an entire video on how we make over my side of the closet but the first thing i'm doing here is i'm removing everything out of his closet all of the clothes everything so that he can start pulling everything out and we can start from scratch There's like so many BBs on the ground. <laughs> Each one of these has Russ's name on it. I can see it already. Oh yeah, save his name. <laughs> Is this your block belt? All right, somehow all of this fit in that tiny closet. We have a lot to go through in order for this to fit inside of my closet as well as my clothes. Also look how stinking cute. By the time you guys are watching this, he will already be a month old. So crazy. My first step is just to remove everything in the closet that doesn't need to be here. So I'm going to start with these doors and I'll re remove around the trim and make sure if there's any holes I'll fill them. And then I'll start removing the stuff inside, which is probably going to create damage because in these old houses, instead of using, they didn't have like pin nails back then, they had actual oh, nails they would Mom? just sink them. You found a stud. You found a stud. <laughs> Am I a stud? That really worked on me. I know. Wow. It's a cool app. <laughs> I don't know what cut you off, but basically they use nails instead of pin nails, right? Oh yeah. They use nails in these old houses instead of oh. pin nails. So anytime they would sink one into just a piece of trim, they'd sink it into the two by four or the stud. So it's like, it doesn't just rip the nail out, it rips the sheetrock out and it's a disaster, so. It's been fun, right? It's Real fun. It's when I start to tear it up. I'm hoping, it's, I'm hoping I'm wrong on this one and they just miss the studs and shot it into the sheetrock, but I know that. These are so simple to pull out. I don't know if you guys have ever pulled them out before, but you just pull up, and pull the bottom out, and the top falls out. <laughs> I've seen people like unscrew the track and try to figure it out. These wheels are spring loaded and so is the bottom, so they're real easy. Actually didn't warn me my hair looked like I just stepped out of the shower, but <laughs> okay. I had too many alfalfas. Ashley made me put a hat on. All right. No, 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 Mike, no, no. If you're going to use multiple tips for your bit, okay. <laughs> when you're switching out your drill tips, okay, I always suggest putting them right back where they go. Like I can't tell you how many of these little sets. I have like 10 of these, but I probably bought a hundred of them because like I'll set a bit down on the ground or I'll set it in my toolbox and I'll never find it. So when you're transitioning going back and forth, Always put them back where they go. Always cut along the paint line, especially if they like painted the trim the same as the wall. That paint when you transition and rip this out, it's gonna peel that paint back if you don't cut it. What's up, buddy? Check this out, this is what I'm talking about. Those are the nails all trim is done with in homes like this, and shelves. Those are giant.
Now Thomas is just sanding down both sides of the wall because I'm going to be putting up some pill and stick wallpaper. So we just need the surface to be smooth. I didn't care for it to be perfect. I mean, if you are doing this on a large wall, you definitely want the wall to be really smooth. But for this little project, I'm just having him sand down what he can and then I will be going in with some pill and stick. I'm not sure if the smartest thing to do right now is to put this up first, but I'm going to anyway. So I'm going to put the pill and stick up on both sides of the wall and we're going to put the ship up on this back wall. So on the side walls, we will have the pill and stick and the shiplap will be on the back wall. I have used this before in a video when we did our pantry makeover and this is really easy to work with. The cool thing about this is if you get bubbles, if it doesn't stick right, you can easily just peel it up and then re-stick it down and then peel it up and re-stick it down. I did that like 2000 times while I was doing this project. So you can see here also, it didn't cover the entire wall. So I had Thomas go in with his razor blade and cut an exact amount that we needed to finish off on both sides. We are actually using different shiplap than we normally use, which I know is probably shocking to you, but this is the stuff you can actually buy just already made. I'm pretty sure we got this at Home Depot. I don't know if Lowe's has it for sure, but it's like tongue and groove shiplap. So this came out, I believe 10 feet and he cut off the exact amount that he would need to do our closet. And by some miracle, nine boards fit perfectly in our space. So he didn't have to cut any in half, which was really nice. The pink color that I chose is the Coastal Dusk. This is the same color that we use for our dresser and for our back wall in our bedroom, just so everything kind of tied in together. You know when you finally get to something like something super simple as in painting the trim white and you wonder why did that take so long for me to do that? Look at the difference. Like, ew. This color, whatever this color was, I'm so glad to be rid of it. We got this at Lowe's, so he will just be cutting this so it fits perfectly into our space. Our space is a lot smaller than 72 inches wide, so he won't be needing all of this. We actually are going to use some leftover board to make a shelf right above the desk. But here he is just using some scrap pieces of wood we had in the garage, and he is pin nailing this into the wall so that we can mount the desk on top of this. Here he is just securing a one by two inch trim piece to make the board look thicker. Look how cute and little. This will actually go a long way. So we're doing the color Honey in the brand Minwax and this is what we've done in our bedroom. So we're gonna stick to that so it all matches.
Our friends actually gifted us this scroll when they went to Israel. So this is something we've had for a while and we weren't sure where we would hang this, but I thought once we had a little office area that I would have that displayed there. Well, we are both really happy with how this turned out. We were able to do this entire project in just a few hours. So we picked a day and we knocked the whole thing out within a few hours. We let it dry overnight before I decorated everything, but we did have it done in just a day. So if you're needing a little office area, you could easily turn any spare closet that you have into a little office and you could also knock it out in just one day. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that and we will see you guys in the next video.